Okay, and in following on from our last video, now in this video I want to talk about how to break the cycle. And the key here is this sentence here. How does this concept relate to us? Because there's actually two fundamental errors in this sentence which will help us break this cycle of creating positive and negative feelings which then result in clinging. Okay? Now the first of these is this idea of the concept as being the real world. And the key difference here is that concepts are what we call permanent and uh, the real world is actually ever-changing. So when we see a person who's got a smiling face, we think he's a nice person or she's a nice person. We create this concept in our mind of this person is a lovely person. And concepts in the mind always stay the same. So for example, uh, like a tree, when you learn what a tree is, it'll still be a tree when you're uh, 90 years old. The, the concept of a tree doesn't change. And yet we all know that trees uh, grow, fall over, become nothing. And it's the same with uh, any concept. So a person who's happy, if we say uh, that's a happy person, in our mind they should always stay happy. But in fact we know that people change. And tomorrow that person that was happy and nice to you could be really horrible to you. And so this is where we get unexpected results and it causes um, a lot of confusion and aversion and, and we desire for that, that nice person to be back again. So that's one uh, thing is to understand that concepts are permanent, but in fact they only relate to things which are impermanent and they're always changing. So we need to understand whenever we think about something that there's one attribute which is always there and that is this idea of permanent, uh, impermanence. Now the second area is how it relates to us, ourselves. And obviously if you've seen other videos in this series, you'll see the meditations on understanding emptiness of self. And in many traditions around the world, there's this uh, understanding that we attribute this uh, ego as being a real thing, when in fact all we are is a bunch of um, cells and feelings and thoughts uh, that is also impermanent. But clinging to this idea of self means that we have this positive and negative feelings. Whereas if we understand that there is no such thing as self, this whole sentence doesn't make sense. And we can only think of what is the meaning in relation to other things like our progress in meditation. What is the meaning to the benefit to all beings? What is the meaning to wisdom? And so it allows us to get rid of this concept. And when we think of uh, the thoughts coming in and how it relates to how we could get better in our practice, for example, then it actually doesn't cause the positive and negative feelings uh, that will result in clinging. So in meditation, I guess we do this in two ways. One way is to shortcut this by actually causing our mind to deliberately stay on a neutral object. So if we just think of the breath, breathing in, breathing out, then we automatically have a neutral feeling and we can calm the mind down and get more concentrated because uh, aversion and uh, clinging, uh, sorry, aversion and attachment don't arise so our mind becomes calmer and calmer and calmer and then we can feel that state of what it feels like to become um, highly concentrated into deep meditation and that helps us the next time. But the other thing is to bring this wisdom of impermanence and of non-self uh, more and more to all of our thoughts and when we meditate again and again and again on some of these concepts, then even when negative or positive images or thoughts come to our mind, then we uh, don't uh, relate them to ourselves 
and therefore we stay in equanimity because it's not even relating to us because how can it? We don't exist. So this is ultimately what will uh, completely create a tranquil mind in your meditation and will give you that state of deeper meditation. Okay, so in the next few videos, what we're going to look at is we're going to go even deeper into the way the unconscious mind works with the conscious mind so that you, we fill in all the details of how this mind uh, creates distractions so that whenever you see distractions in your meditation, you can penetrate and see their transitory nature and get rid of them much more easily by knowing this information. Okay, so I look forward to seeing you in the next few videos.